division and structure of chromosome. Cell division. New cells are formed from the pre-existing cells by the process of cell division. It is a process in which a parent cell divides into two identical daughter cells. Initially, they are smaller than the parent cell. Soon, they grow to their full size and are ready to divide again. Need of new cell 1. New cells needed for growth All multicellular organisms like plants and animals begin their life as a single cell zygote and reach their final size. This increase in their size is due to increase in the number of cells. 2. New cells needed for replacement Body cells get worn out and die after living for some days or months. In our body, about 3 billion cells die every minute. These worn out cells are replaced by new cells formed by cell division. 3. New cells needed for repair. Many cells are lost due to accidental injury, cut, wound or fracture. New cells are needed to repair the damaged tissue or to join the broken ends of the bone. 4. New cells needed for reproduction. In unicellular organisms, cell division leads to multiplication of individuals. For example, a bacterium can divide every 30 minutes. It means within 24 hours, a single bacterium may reproduce more than 200 trillion bacterial cells. Can you imagine that? Types of cell division There are three main types of cell division. A mitosis, mitosis and meiosis. Let us first study a mitosis. 1. A mitosis A mitosis is the simple common process of cell division in prokaryotic cells like bacteria. When the nucleus divides several times without each division being accompanied by the division of the cytoplasm, then it is known a mitosis. 2. Mitosis Mitosis is a type of nuclear division that results in two daughter cells each having a nucleus containing the same number and kind of chromosomes of the mother cell. 3. Meiosis It is a type of nuclear division that gives rise to four reproductive cells called gametes, each with half the chromosome number of the parent cell. Cell Cycle the phase of growth and division. Each new cell is formed by the division of its parent cell. It undergoes growth and division. The sequence of events that occur from the end of one cell division to the end of second cell division represents one cell cycle. The cell cycle starts with the growth of newly formed cell and ends with its division into two daughter cells. The duration of one cell cycle is called generation time. For bacteria, it is just 30 minutes, and for cells of Malfigian layer of the human skin, it is 24 hours. Main phases of the cell cycle. Cell cycle consists of the two main phases, interphase and mitotic phase. Interphase, 
the non-dividing phase. It is the non-dividing phase or the preparatory phase of cell cycle. It lies between two successive cell divisions. G1 phase. G1 phase is the phase of active growth. During this phase, the young cell grows in size. In regularly dividing cells, this phase occupies 30% of the cell cycle. The non-dividing cells usually withdraw from cell cycle just after this phase. S phase. S phase is the phase of synthesis. During this phase, replication of DNA and synthesis histones is completed. As a result, each chromosome has two chromatids, which are thread-like and are joined by a central mare. G2 phase. G2 phase is the second growth phase. During this phase, the cell accumulates proteins and other materials and gets ready to start division. Mitotic phase, phase of division. It is the phase of cell division, that is, the division of a cell into two daughter cells. It involves two major events. Division of nucleus, called karyokinesis, Division of cytoplasm called cytokinesis. Cell cycle and continuation of life. Once cytokinesis is completed, the cell successfully goes through the cell cycle and produces two cells from a single precursor. For bacteria or yeast, which are single celled organisms, the cell division will produce a new and complete organism. In a multicellular organism like human beings, a fertilized single-celled egg requires many cell divisions to make a new individual. In either case, it is the completion of the cell cycle that produces new organisms. Our survival requires production of millions of cells in a second. In the end, it is the cell cycle that ensures that life produces more life in an organized fashion.